Hi everybody! Today let's uh, do a very simple dialogue on a, on a taxi. So the title is Dialogo in un taxi. Dialogo in un taxi. So, so let's suppose we climb on a taxi and we have this uh, obvious uh, simple conversation with the taxi driver, okay? So we begin by saying Buen dia for good morning or buenas tardes for good afternoon or buenas noches for good evening ok? recuerden que en español buenas noches es lo que decimos para decir good evening o para decir good night ok? so in Spanish we use buenas noches for both cases good evening and good night right? bien el taxista, the taxi driver, el taxista va a contestar, will reply, ¿a dónde lo llevo? ¿a dónde lo llevo? Where shall I take you? Where shall I drive you? Llevo is the conjugation for the verb llevar, that means to take. So literally this means where shall I take you, okay? Um, in English we would say where shall I drive you, okay? Where shall I drive you to? In Spanish, we can say, we can use the verb to drive somebody, right? A donde lo conduzco. But usually, we use a donde lo llevo, right? So, we would reply to the taxi driver. Lléveme, take me, lléveme a Boulevard Artigas y Rivera. Or, quiero ir a Boulevard Artigas y Rivera. So, lléveme a means... Take me to. Quiero ir a means I want to go to. Okay? So quiero means it from the verb comes from the verb querer. Viene del verbo querer. Y lléveme viene del verbo llevar. ¿Sí? Con el participio me que es reflexivo. Take me. Right? El me means me. Lleve. Lleve is conjugated for usted. Remember that in Spanish when we address somebody that we are not related to, we use a formal you, okay? If we were using the informal you, we would say llévame, with an A here. But the formal you, usted, conjugates the same as he or she. So we say lléveme, right? We are addressing the taxi driver formally, because we are not related to him. Okay, so we, we relate to him as usted and not as you, not as tú. Bien, lléveme a Boulevard Artigas y Rivera. Or, quiero ir a Boulevard Artigas y Rivera. Boulevard Artigas y Rivera es una esquina eh, muy importante en la ciudad de Montevideo, en Uruguay. Boulevard Artigas... Y, y Rivera es un cruce de dos avenidas importantes. Boulevard Artigas and Rivera is a crossing of two very important avenues in Montevideo, in Uruguay. Okay? So let's just uh, put this as an example. Okay? We just gave the taxi driver two, two streets so he knows we, we, he has to leave us there at the corner, okay? at the crossing. ¿Por cuál camino? prefiere ir or por cual ruta prefiere ir what route or what way do you prefer to, uh, to go or what way do you want me to take you through okay por cual means through which right or by which by which or through which camino is way ruta would be route do you prefer to go, right? The, the, the you, the subject pronoun you, we omit it because it's not necessary. Because the conjugated verb prefiere already implies you, okay? ¿Por cuál camino prefiere ir? O ¿por cuál ruta prefiere ir? Ir means to go, right? The infinitive. So, we will reply to the taxi driver. Así que le vamos a contestar al taxista. 
le vamos a decir al taxista por dónde queremos ir. We will tell, we will tell the taxi driver uh, which way we want to take, ¿ok? Could be, por ejemplo, por el camino más rápido. I missed the tilde here. Rápido. Por el camino más rápido means through the fastest uh, way, right? The fastest way or the fastest route. Por el camino más rápido. Or por el camino más corto. By the shortest way. O por el camino más bonito. Bonito means pretty, beautiful. Okay? So, for example, if we are, uh, if, if we are new in the city and we want to see something, uh, we want to see the city, we'll tell the taxi driver to take the, the way that is more uh, beautiful for sightseeing, right? So, we can tell the taxi driver por el camino más bonito. Okay? Instead of not necessarily the shortest way or the most or the more direct way, but the one that is prettier, ok? Bonito. Bien, entonces ahora el taxi va conduciendo, ¿sí? va por el camino escogido, goes along the chosen route, va por el camino escogido, escogido means chosen. So, Some, me some minutes follow without any conversation. Pasan algunos minutos sin ninguna conversación. Y cuando estamos llegando, when we are getting there, el taxista nos pregunta, the taxi driver asks us, ¿Está bien por aquí? Is it okay here? Está bien, he can say, ¿Está bien por aquí? Or simply, ¿Está bien aquí? What's the difference here? Está bien aquí means literally is it okay here? And está bien por aquí would be like saying is it okay around here? Right? So we will say sí, gracias. Yes, thank you. En esta esquina. Right? In at this corner en esta esquina, or on, on, on that corner, right, at that corner, it would be esa esquina, esa and aquella are synonyms, right, esa o aquella, that corner, and esta means this corner, okay, or we can also say un poco más allá, a bit further, okay, un poco más allá, Allá means there, like, un poco más allá literally means a bit more there, right? But in English we don't say a bit more there, we just say a bit further. In Spanish we say un poco más allá, un poco más allá, a bit more there, okay? So, oh, so, sí, gracias, en esta esquina está bien, yes, thank you. At this corner, it's okay, it's fine. ¿Cuánto es? How much is it? Or we can ask, ¿Cuánto le debo? How much do I owe you? Le. We say le inst instead of te. Right? Te would be for tú, informal, right? How much do I owe you? But since we are addressing the taxi driver formally, we don't say cuánto te debo, because this is informal, as if we were re related to him. We say, ¿cuánto le debo? Right? ¿Cuánto le debo? Y el taxista nos va a contestar ahora con el precio que le debemos pagar. So the taxi driver will reply, will answer back with the price we have to pay him. Y el taxista nos dice, 155. 155. 155. Pero, pero nosotros no tenemos 155 justo. We, don't, we do not have exactly just 155. Nosotros tenemos 500. 
el billete más pequeño es de 500. The, the smallest bill we have is 500. Por lo tanto, therefore, le preguntamos al taxista. We ask the taxi driver. ¿Tiene cambio de 500? ¿Tiene cambio de 500? Do you have, again, tiene, right? Formal, formal you. If we were addressing him informally, we would say tienes with S. Tienes tú. But we are, we are addressing him as usted, formal. Tiene cambio. Do you have change of 500? Tiene cambio de 500? So the taxi driver will check and will see if he has. El taxista va a buscar y nos dice, a ver, a ver, a ver means, let's see, let me check, right? Let's see, a ver, sí, tengo, yes, I have, a ver, sí, tengo. So, now that the taxi driver checked and confirmed that he has change of 500, we tell him, le decimos al taxista, tome, tome, take, here you are, right? In English it can be, it can sound a bit rough to say take, right? We just say, we better say here you are. In Spanish we can say here you are, aquí tiene. However, simply saying take, it's just fine, right? It doesn't sound rough. So we can say tome, tome, take, tome. Cobre 170. Cobre is a charge, charge me or charge 170. Okay, so we are giving him a 15 more for the tip. Okay, Cobre 170. Charge 170. Tome. Cobre 170. So the, the taxi driver is happy and will say, Aquí está, oh, I, missed, I missed the tilde here. Aquí está su vuelto. Aquí está su vuelto. Here is your change. Or cambio. Vuelto is a synonym for cambio. That means for change, okay? So, aquí está su vuelto. Here is your change. Or, aquí está su cambio. Here is your change. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, he's happy because we tipped him, okay? So, um, we finish the dialogue saying, again, buen día for good morning or buenas tardes for good afternoon or buenas noches for good evening, okay? Uh, so, just like saying goodbye, we can also say just ciao, bye. Adiós, goodbye. Or, buen día, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Bien, les quiero ahora decir una cosita más. Aquí les enseñé que haber significa let's see, let me check, let's take a look. Ok? These are two words. A ver. Ver means to see. Ver is the infinitive verb to see. To see, right? To see. A ver means literally let's see. So it's an expression that is very, very, very much used in Spanish, right? A ver, like also let me think. A ver, right? Let me see, let me think. However, many people, a ver, many people think it comes from the verb a ver, right? However, haber and haber are totally different things. When we say haber, let me see or let me think, right? Let me check. We use the word a, right? The preposition a and the verb ver, that means to look, right? Yes? Sorry, to see, to see. So, haber has nothing to do with the verb haber, right? 
even many Spanish speakers, many native speakers, confuse this with this, right? And they say, a ver, a ver, and they, they write it down like this, right? When actually they should write a ver, the preposition a, a, and the verb ver, to see, okay? So, well, that's all I wanted to, to mention about this. Así que terminamos hoy nuestro diálogo, un diálogo bien sencillo, solamente para ir practicando un poco más de conversación. Si tienen dudas, pueden escribirme y si no, nos vemos en la clase que viene. Gracias.